Hello there fellow model makers and welcome to the fourth part of my build of my first diorama. Last time we finished our early tiger. In this edition, we will be making this motorcycle with the sidecar. There are two coloring options for the motorcycle. One from North Africa and the other in the German grey. We will of course be doing ours in the German grey same as the tiger. Let's take a look inside the box. All the parts are on one sprue, so this should be a relatively quick build. The parts are crisp and nicely molded, something one has come to expect from Tamiya. The level of detail is excellent, even for such a small vehicle. I start off by cutting and cleaning the first few parts needed for the build. Now, as I dry fit the motorcycle frame, I realize that once it's glued in place, it will be impossible to cleanly paint the details behind it. So, I guess I will have to paint each part individually and then glue them together. But before we can start off with the painting, there are a few ejector pin marks that need to be filled. The first paint to be sprayed is gloss black, which will act as a shadow base as well as a primer for the kit. A primer is important here, as the next thing I paint is the engine with aluminium. Metallic paint, I feel, always turns out a little better if painted over a gloss black base. I mask the engine next and paint the rest of the piece with German grey. Once the paint is dry, I hand paint the wheel with Tamiya rubber black. The two-part motorcycle frame is painted with German grey. A small part of the rear of the frame is painted with aluminium. 
This time I don't apply the back base as this is a tiny part and will eventually get covered by other parts. A few parts are now hand painted black as directed in the instructions. I also clean up the overspray from the aluminium paint with German grey. Finally, all the parts of the main body are glued together. Some small parts like the seats, exhaust, additional engine parts and side bag are cut, cleaned and painted. While gluing the parts after painting them did help with the clean paint job, it did result in one problem. There is a clear line visible on the fuel tank. This has to be cleaned and repainted. So out come the sanding sponges. I started with a 800 grit sponge and worked my way up to a 1200 grit. The cleanup does not take too much time. The piece is masked and repainted. All the tiny parts are now glued in place. The front wheel assembly starts by painting the front number plate with white and then masking it. The part is painted with German grey as are all the other parts of the front wheel and handlebar. The tire is hand painted with Tamiya rubber black. The motorcycle is now ready for final assembly.
the sidecar was fairly easy to put together. Just don't forget to drill holes for mounting the machine gun like I did. I then had to drill at a rather uncomfortable angle, but in the end, it all worked out fine. The sidecar is painted German grey, as are the wheels. Once again, the tyres were hand painted and the sidecar was ready to be glued in place. The leather bags that had earlier been painted brown are dry brushed with a lighter brown shade. Some tiny details are hand painted. The decals are now fixed in place. Time to paint the figures. I am using AK Interactive's paint set for figures. The set has 5 paints, but seeing how small these figures are, I will only be using 3. I have already given the figures a coat of light flesh and now I add some highlights. I blend in the paint with some water. I keep adding and blending till I am satisfied with the effect. Now I add some very light shadows with base flesh, which is the darkest of the three tones. That is all the painting I will do on the face. These figures are really small and I am no expert at figure painting at all. So I guess this will do. Now to paint the uniform with olive green. I use a darker tone of olive green for a wash so that the darker colour sits in the folds and adds shadows. And lastly, using the same mix of pigments that I use for the tank, well more or less, I add some mud splatters on the motorcycle. Right then, we are now done with the motorcycle and the sidecar. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do like and subscribe. Next time, we start off with the actual diorama itself. Do tune in for that. Till then, good luck and happy modeling.